you're a business leader who wants to bake or build continuous improvement into your culture from day one, watch this video. So if anything I see in this video is useful, beneficial, valuable to you, please uh, uh, like, share, subscribe. And if you have comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Thanks. So this is pretty simple. This is actually an extension from the show I did yesterday. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But essentially, it is inspire people to be one step above where they are. Uh, I hear a lot of talk and in particular, uh, specific interactions I've been in where it's like, well, you always have to meet people where they are. Well, yes, that's sort of true, but not entirely. As a teacher, I found oftentimes where people are is below where they're capable of. And, and even worse, that's, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. They just don't want to do it. That's fine. Um, but it's not ideal for a leader who wants to lead by example and show what improvement looks like and that that's a lifelong continuous thing for everybody, including the leader. So what I found is in many groups, especially when I was dealing with adults, so these are Japanese adults and I'm teaching them English. I had one in particular who clearly was shy, clearly wanted to try, but was never pushed to do so. And people go, oh, well, you can't put pressure on people. Sure, you could put positive pressure on people. It's like, wouldn't it be great if you could do this? Okay, it's your turn, try. And if they don't try, that's cool. Um, and an interaction I had with somebody was like, well, you can't do that. That's, that's not good because people might not try. They might quit. It was like, yeah, but my experience shows me that most people don't quit. And most people are actually happier for the fact that you encourage them to try. I'm not talking about threatening them. These were adults of senior age who are only in my class because they wanted to be. But when I encouraged them to try and told them they had to try, they switched from people who had never ever in two or three years of being in this class before I came along had ever spoken English in the class. That's all it took was me to encourage them and to say, you have to try. Not you have to do anything great, but you have to try. So that's sort of the essence of this. So let's meet people, not just where they are, say, I, I recognize where you are, but wouldn't it be great if you could be just one notch above every day? So that's the, the essence of this. So this is an extension, as I said, of yesterday's uh, Crush It Club uh, 131, which was about how to praise properly. It basically, this takes the idea of continuous improvement. And in that episode, I talked about how don't give people praise for doing the same thing every day. Give them praise for effort, but in particular, give them praise for a greater effort than last time. That is, when they level up, you now have to raise that praise bar so that they continue to level up. Because if you high five them for doing poor work, that's the highest they will ever go. Because they, they, everybody likes praise, whether they admit it or not, but that reinforcement motivates you. And if you raise that bar just a little bit, just a sliver every day, they will strive to reach that. And if they don't achieve it, you're not punishing them. You're just simply not praising them for the same work exactly or the same effort they put in yesterday, the same achievement they, they, they accomplished via their effort yesterday. So that's a, a really important thing. But in this case, it's taking it to a proactive level, and that is building it right into a way that you encourage your coworkers, your coworkers encourage you, and everybody encourages each other to say, what would it look like to be a, be a hair better tomorrow than today? So that's the essence of this episode. So here's where you start. You start, surprise, at the beginning. That means when somebody becomes part of your team, when you build that relationship, even if it's a, a joint venture or whatever, you let them know that this is something that's really important. Um, but especially new employees, new reports, you say, look, this is the way it's done around here. And it is this. I want you to encourage me and I will encourage you to be a better version of yourself every day. No big Kaizen program, no big consultancy thing that you have to spend six months 
for something people don't buy and it just becomes part of the DNA of your regular everyday behavior. And you are not so much responsible for your own improvement or more accurately, the inspiration of your own improvement. Everybody else is, but you are responsible for the improvement and inspiration of everybody else. You take care of each other so that nobody can really forget because this is one of the reasons a lot of change efforts don't go is people don't buy into them and there's no reminder, no motivation. It's just like, well, it's easier to do things as they were. Well, if as they were starts out as we're here to inspire each other to be better for everybody's happiness and improvement and inspiration for the whole work culture and for our own success, right? So let's see. Uh, so what you do basically is you tell them explicitly uh, and overtly, we do this thing where we all try to encourage each other to be a little better every day, to try a little harder every day at what we're doing to always level up, but also that you do this by example, by your actions, you, you do it with them. So if you're not doing it right now in the interview or in the hiring process, that's fine, but you're doing it that day, unless it's the end of the day, and then you start first thing tomorrow. You let them get a taste of it, and everybody around you is going to be doing the same thing. So that's why it will survive and basically be self-sustaining, especially because you're going to get a behavioral, emotional, psychological ROI on this that makes everybody feel good. And doesn't it feel good to help other people do what they do better? I'm not talking about criticizing. I'm talking about inspiring, and I'll tell you why it doesn't actually come from them. You are just the source. Everybody is the spark for everybody else. The fire comes from themselves. So that's what this works like. Um, so one of the most powerful ways, and this is the cat out of the bag, to get people to improve is to ask them questions such that the answers are their own concrete method, goal, or target for improvement. So you ask them questions, and when they answer those questions about their own success, about their own improvement, now they've had a stake in creating that improvement. So for example, maybe a coworker could ask me, Tim, excuse me, I gotta read this. I haven't got my, my teleprompter done yet. It says, Tim, um, being able to finish uh, uh, what would make, make your uh, daily video creation process better? And I might answer something like, well, being able to finish these videos uh, more quickly with no loss of production value or content quality. And then they might ask me something like, how specifically might you accomplish that? If I reply, I don't know. I just know I want to make it better then they will hold me accountable by asking me another question. They could say something like, how could you find out? So how could I find out? Well, I could ask other people, how do you think I could do this? Uh, go onto the internet, find somebody who is a video production expert, get help, right? I need to be able to answer that. So that's just an example, right? But the question chain would continue until I gave that other person, the person now inspiring me, to give a specific, concrete, immediately actionable step, which is within my, completely with my, within my control that I can take action on today, unless it's literally one minute before finish time, in which case tomorrow. So that is all of these questions are seeking towards what specific, concrete, actionable step I could take. And uh, people are far more likely to act on these because they themselves have had, have had ha a hand in creating this inspiring target. And this kind of investment, that is the investment of your effort of committing to this, fosters commitment and follow through, especially if it's APE. And I'll put the link right there as to what APE is. It's another video I did about how to make actionable, public, effortful commitments. Anyway, that's it for Crush It Club 132, how to improve continuously. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.